Tucson Maidens of Metal. I'm Charmaine. We are here with Army of the Universe. Uh, do you guys want to kind of go around and introduce yourselves? Hello, it's Lord K. What would I do? Of course. Trey Black, producer, keyboard, DJ. Joe, I'm the drummer. And Dave, guitar. And we are here going to discuss with them just a couple little, little things. Um, so I understand you guys have an album coming up. You're remixing one of your old songs, an old single. Uh, it's not, it's the last single actually, it's the, it's the latest single. single, so the single from the last album, 1999, mm -hmm. and we, yes, we are making a very special vinyl uh, edition for these remixes coming out June 9th, and uh, we uh, remix it our own, uh, with the name Army of the Underground, we redid the song in a more groovy, dancey, underground way, which we called the 1990 Noise. Uh, yeah, and then <laughs> and the other remixers would be Alec and Fire from Atari Teenage Riot and SPCR from the Bloody Beetle. It's, it's a pretty interesting song. Yeah, that sounds very interesting. That sounds pretty great. I, really <laughs> I was actually listening to uh, one of your albums before because before the interview, I was asked to find out a little bit about you guys, but I'd actually already heard about you. Um, you guys did a pretty interesting cover of a, of a Bjork song, Army of Me. <laughs> was, was your was your was your the name of your band inspired by that song in any way or vice versa? Vice versa, vice versa. But I mean, it's much more fun if he describes this because I think <laughs> I picked the cover and we worked on it in a very interesting I, way. I thought uh, this cover was uh, like a kind of success for the public. I, I never really liked it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll be honest. Sometimes I do things so that mm. that I don't believe, but then they they start out to be big things. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's just like that. I'm, I'm not a you know a, a really open mind. I should be open minded. Sometimes I, I should be more elastic. That's it. Yeah. But I'm spastic. <laughs> I like it. Spastic, elastic. Yes. You know, the funny story. So I picked the thing. He wasn't very convinced. He doesn't like to cover female voices. In yeah, but he loves. I love. Actually, do I think he has a great voice and he can do pretty much anything. And this song great. absolutely thank you, thank you. was quite, you know, inspired by. Uh, I mean, the Army of the Universe, Army of Me. Think I love Bjork. But he's still complaining about how long I kept his vocals the in the chorus. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little quiet. It was a little quiet. It's white, but it's meant to be like that yeah, in yeah. a way I that know, everything else gets like bigger around the vocals. But he's still complaining about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. I mean, Thank you. you really did improve the song. You absolutely improved it. Um, yeah. So you guys have been working together for a while. Yeah. 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 Like, Officially, yeah. 2009. 2009. We met 2008 and we yeah. started to try uh, in 2009. We, we met very randomly in Milan, which is our um, kind of hometown. Okay. Yeah, we were kind of neighbors. Yeah. Okay. So we met at the gym. At the gym? He, he, he's, he's, not a, he's not a gym guy, I <laughs> like to in rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. And then, yes, and then we met again <laughs> in Los Angeles. Then we wanted to start something because he came from a um, DJ and an uh, electronic background. Well, I'm a rocking guy, rocky guy, and I, I've been playing with, with him since many years. Uh, so we wanted to, to try this, how do you call this, melt? Melt no, experiment, like let's the say. Like a sandwich. I don't know, <laughs> together. Like tuna cheese. Tuna, oh, tuna melt. Yeah, okay. Oh, tuna melt. <laughs> <laughs> It was interesting, it was very interesting. I think experimentation is a big chunk of what we do anyways, and it's still like that. I mean, to blend different genres and different great. styles, yeah. I think it's the most interesting thing to do Absolutely. while you write music to that. How you get new stuff out. <laughs> that's the Your only way to make yeah. innovation. That, yeah. that's it. Well, we got a song in the last album, uh, last album 1999, the after show. The new, this song is called um, Detroit City Nights. Uh, no, late Detroit Nights. Late okay. Detroit Nights. And it's about um, melting different kind of music styles, like Detroit. We got pop, hip, no, hip hop, soul, soul, like Motown. We got rock, we got techno. metal, we got techno, which is the home of techno. Yeah. And so it's pretty weird, but it, it kind of, it kind of, it works. Fit in well. Absolutely. Okay. 
I'm going to start asking the real questions here. Whatever, what's on everybody's mind right now. Okay. Your Stops. eyeliner is amazing. Thank you. Does, are you brand specific? Do you have a special technique? <laughs> like let me check. Us? Let me check. I'm going to show you this. This one. Sephora. It's Sephora. 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 Of course, it's Sephora. 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 Oh good. Really cheap one. <laughs> not like no, nothing cheap. But, but it works. It works. It works. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 Sephora is as notoriously yeah. good makeup. Mm -hmm. It really is. Oh, awesome! And we all love it. And you've got a really good technique going yeah. on. Yeah. And it doesn't go so, anywhere. Sometimes <laughs> he, he stopped like making up because he was a big, big makeup artist <laughs> way back in time. <laughs> yeah. And you, your hair is amazing. I didn't know about okay, it. Thank you so much for us. For no, saying no, 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 no. You know what? You know what? No. Okay. I got a story no. to tell you. Tell I got, me. I got the no. bell with this guy. You got like Fabio hair. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fabio! Fabio! Fabio, what is the most beautiful man in the world? Who is Fabio? He's the most famous. Who is Fabio? He's the most beautiful man in the most handsome man in the world. The stallion. But wait, hold on. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait for the story. Wait for the story. Story, story. This guy is the first tour he's playing with us. So yeah. In the first few day, days of the tour, everyone was complimenting my ear. And at some point, he said, okay, let's do a bet. If every single day you get compliments for your ear, I pay you. I pay for your dinner. A very expensive. So, a very, very, very expensive. Thank dinner. you. Oh. <laughs> every <laughs> single night until uh, every, now. Every, every single day. Every single day. Even in day off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. even in day off. Nice. Okay. What's your name? Great. Obviously, it's got a nice trim. You don't have any split ends. Yeah. Is there a special shampoo you no. can use, or no, just no. use it up? It's just a <laughs> straightener. Oh God. We all yeah. envy him. Well, I, I envy you, and I'm a girl, and. Uh, <laughs> My next question is going to be for you because my husband is going to want to know about your beard. Do you use a balm for your beard? <laughs> no, 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 no. Balm. I do, don't use any ketchup. Nothing. Ketchup. 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 No, when it falls. I was supposed to say pussy. Oh, God. No, no, no. Well, eventually, eventually. <laughs> no. no. Uh, I, I don't use nothing. 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 Nothing in my hair, nothing in my beard. Really? That's just all natural? Nothing. Only shampoo. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a very particular set of tattoos. Oh yeah, we've got uh, many. I what is your the, favorite tattoo? The, the, the last two one was the still healing. This AOU, you see? Mm -hmm. a yes. uh, Army of the Army Universe. Of the, that's really cool. The last one I did in Portland and with these two. Oh. This that is healing. This is oh. testosterone formula. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Now do they, do all of your tattoos have a special meaning to you? Sometimes, of course. What is like, your favorite like yours? tattoo? This one is my first, the Taurus bull, okay? Because I'm from the bull, the uh, zodiac. Zodiac? Yeah. zodiac. Uh, this one is good enough. This is the I Ching. We all had one oh, yeah. this in the band. This is the oh. fire, this is the thunder. The mine is all What the is the band? lake? Oh. It's a transparent ink. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have a tattoo. You joined uh, the band. But, uh, I joined After. the band uh, this year. Oh, this tour. Well, yeah, this well, welcome. Oh, that's good. Uh, I do have a final question. The first thing that I found when researching your band was uh, some music videos. And I noticed that all of your music videos are very ethereal. They're very interesting and they have, they're very unique. Uh, who's in charge of directing the music videos? Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your creative process there? The idea starts from this guy. <laughs> no, he starts mean, with me, yeah. But we work with different directors and yeah. different people. Uh, yeah, we try to keep consistency um, towards each single video, but most of them are inspired by... Boobs! Uh, Boobs! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright! I like it! <laughs> we tried, well, 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 hold on. Okay. <laughs> Boobs, Boobs have to be in there, yeah. as much as suffix. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, the last two ones touches, was yes. Les scenes. But everything is inspired <laughs> by <laughs> nice scenes. He says, he says that because Les Bo scenes. <laughs> Les Bo scenes. Hey, it's nothing, I said. Whatever. Um, uh, let's say, <laughs> 90s, 90s um, visionary movies, sci fi like Strange Days was the yeah, biggest yeah. inspiration for 1999. Or if you look at the magic, it you know it was that kind of weird acid '90s atmosphere. <laughs> Even Good Night, Love. I mean, yeah, '90s uh, sci-fi and 
you know, underground culture are definitely yeah. influencing our video making. I, I could definitely see a little bit of that 90s sci-fi happening. Mm -hmm. It was very visually and aesthetically just mind-blowing. That was, I, it, it's almost so mind-blowing that it, it's, you almost notice the video more than you notice the music. It's just mm. amazing. And a final, uh, final question for the Lord. How do you feel about unicorns? <laughs> oh, I, fuck, I fucking hate unicorns. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I, I can I can work out how this thing, this fashion of unicorn came out like this. <laughs> Mostly in the god scene. They, they maybe because of the contrast. No? What do you think? You don't think. <laughs> I, I hate unicorns. I hate this this rainbow coming out of the the, the white thing. The, the, no, no, we fuck unicorn. We fist fuck you. Oh my god! With this. With this. Oh no! Unicorns. I love it. Right dick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the army of the universe. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was nice to see you all.